for change and a cure and, and a remedy and a diagnosis. You expect a, a prescription, but you come in here. Had nothing to do on Friday night, so I'm just gonna just gonna go to church. That's my home, girl. I'ma go support her little her little conference. And, and I and you broken and you bitter and can't nobody stand you. Your spirit stinks. You got you got all kind of problems. Your kids is crazy. Your marriage is on the rocks. Your health is deteriorating. And you mean to tell me you are gonna come to church and not pull on? I don't want that. And I don't know if you caught what I was saying concerning her. Leaders take hits for your freedom. Everybody want to put their mouth on the preacher, but you don't know that we be preaching in pain, baby. You don't know the thoughts that we take for you to get free. So, if I'm going to face some warfare, if I gotta fight Leviathan spirit, if I gotta fight Lucifer, if I gotta fight Satan, if I gotta bind witches and warlocks, I'm gonna make it count, baby. For everybody in here, you better shake yourself with your religion and your routine, and you better prove. But I don't know if there's like designer places where you can get Louis and Gucci and, and Chanel and, and all of these type of things. If there's a place like that, or if you've ever been blessed or lucky or, or fortunate or whatever you want to call it to buy designer brands, you don't treat it the same way you would treat a Walmart product. What I buy from Walmart, I don't handle the same way I buy from Lumens. So when you know that the oil comes, my yes comes, the anointing comes, my assignment comes, I can't wait to or treat it ordinary. believe it's something about worshiping God. It unctions a different spirit in here. And I know we don't do this often or see this often, but, but this is the altar and it's open. I remember I was full of sin, but I grew up in church and they used to run at the altar and they used to snot and cry and run around at the altar and lay their burdens at the altar. Now we so sophisticated. We so, we so, we so bougie. We, we, you, you, you a bougie demon. If you bougie, you don't want nobody to look at you. They don't look at me funny. And people don't have a heaven or hell to put you in or kick you out of. They just as deranged as you. They used to be on somebody's couch right along with you. And you mean to tell me you gonna stay bound because of what somebody else is thinking about you? Y'all different, y'all different, y'all different, y'all different, different. Because if I could just give you a snippet, just a little lower, if I could just give you a snippet of my testimony. I know I'm all in now, but baby, she's from Compton, California. She from the hood. She was a stripper. She was a porn star. She was a lesbian. She was a dope dealer. She was a pill popper. She was an alcoholic. And she can let nothing stop her from getting free. I don't understand, y'all. But in order for God to deliver you, in order for God to heal you, you got you can't care no more. You can't care no more. That's it right there. Because there's a lot of broken spirits 
in here. There's a lot of filth in here. There's a lot of double-mindedness in here. There's a lot of witchcraft in here. And if you cannot get free when you call up what your neighbor thinking about you, you, let me tell you something, let me say this. 2020 killed a lot of people. It killed a lot of people, including one of the dearest people in my life. And to make it out of what killed so many other people and be fortunate enough to stand here and not go for work in the presence of God. Death don't discriminate. And the fact that we're still moving and breathing and shouting that we're taking the drive here and get out the car and walk through the door. church all by myself. Y'all too cute for me. Y'all worried about y'all wigs and y'all eyelash. I come out all this right now. I promise you I will. Y'all too cute for me. But God saved me from talking about some real stuff. I'm talking about some real demons. I'm talking about some real life issues. And God kept me. So Lord, I thank you. Lord, I honor you. Lord, I give you glory. Lord, I give you praise. Lord,
Don't come up here if you don't stand right. I need somebody who's all me. Come here. Can we worship? Y'all came to have church. I came to have an encounter. Yes, come on. your heavenly language because it don't make no sense to come here and still leave here the same way you can it don't make no sense for you to leave i'm gonna preach if he let me but right now that's your problem y'all want to preach word y'all want a message y'all want to water down prophecy and god sent me on assignment to get you free and prepare you for the coming of christ god i can't miss you when you come for me i can't miss you behind the road man i can't miss you behind the road Really? 
Release your spirit. Release your spirit today. Release your spirit until every demon is driven out of this place. Release your glory until every witch is driven out of this place. Release it. Yeah. 
what my uncle did to me, what the baby shit did to me, break it, God. Psalm 51. 
on, grab your Bible, grab, grab your tablet, grab your phone. I'ma go through this really quick and I'ma get out your way. Yeah, Cause I feel the warfare. Yeah. Hill, you praying for me? Yeah. You covering me in the spirit? Yeah. See, that's the problem too. Y'all connected to people that don't want to see you win. Y'all ain't got no real prayer intercessors. They there when everything go bad in your life. But they can't cover you. They can just come at you. Y'all ain't got no real happy hitters in the spirit. That's why a lot of times you fight by yourself, woman of God. Why can't nobody pick me up when I need them? Why can't nobody come with me when I'm going through? You connected to the wrong side. Some of these battles would be a little easier if you had sisters that would sit on assignment. Now, Psalm 51. All right? We should all know this, and I'm going to get out your way. I feel it. They don't like me. They praying against me. Yeah. But I'm going to preach it anyhow. Yeah. I'm going to preach it anyhow. Yeah. But Pastor Mo Monique, Pastor Hall is a real preacher. She's a real woman of God. Prophetess Hill uh, is a real woman of God. They're going to cover me. Yeah. My armor bearer is a real woman of God. They're going to cover me. Yeah. And the more don't you throw, the harder I'm going to preach. I'm sorry to tell you, Satan. But I came on assignment to cut the head off the snake. Psalm 51. Uh, Psalm 51. Upon me, oh God. Have mercy upon me, oh God. I'm telling them to break it off them hill and I'm getting free. I feel something. Have mercy upon me, oh God. According to your loving kindness, according to the multitude of your tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and clear me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions and my sin is always before me. Against you, you only have I sinned and done this evil in your sight that you may be found just when you speak and blameless when you judge. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity and in sin my mother conceived me. Behold, you desire truth in the inward parts and in the hidden part you will make me to know wisdom purge me with hyssop purge me with hyssop and I shall be clean wash me and I shall be whiter than snow make me hear joy and gladness that the bones you have broken may rejoice hide your face from my sins your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Created me a clean heart, oh God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Do not Cast me away from your presence and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. And I'm going to pause right there because Psalm 51 was written out of King David's guilt over the taking of Bathsheba and the killing of Uriah. This is when the prophet Nathan came to him after he had gone in to Bathsheba. And see, this is why you need a real prophetic voice not to tell you about houses and cars, but to check your spirit and tell you to get your house in order. Prophet Nathan didn't come. Danielle Williams McCoy didn't come to tell you houses, cars, and checks is coming. But Prophet Nathan came to tell him about himself. And that produced, that made King David write Psalm 51. But I want to put a pin on do not cast me away from your presence and do not take your Holy Spirit from me do not cast me away from your presence and do not take your Holy Spirit from me please don't take your spirit from me that that's what i kept hearing when i was reading this on the
the way here. I was reading Psalm 51 because the Lord said before I left the house, Psalm 51, and I kept reading it in the car. Yeah, but the thing that said stood out to me was, "Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not." Your Holy Spirit from me because for me it's like I heard the agony of David. David, I heard his words, I felt his spirit, and I kept hearing it like, please, almost like he was begging God. I'm begging you. I know I messed up because I remember, stay with me, the train gonna run kind of fast. See, they like church. Y'all give them some music because they don't, they ain't used to me. Hit, hit the, hit the Maybe that'll make them dance and happy. But but while I was reading it, it, it was like I was hearing him plead with God because he wrote this because he was guilty for what he did with Bathsheba and to Uriah. And it was like I was hearing, please don't take your spirit from me. Why? Because David recognized that even though I messed up, I can't live without your spirit. No, y'all missed that. Even though I messed up, I know I can't live without your spirit. So I kept reading it and hearing him back in God. Please don't tell me. David knew he couldn't live without God's spirit. He knew he couldn't live without a relationship. And that Acts 17, 28 says, for in him we live and move and have our being. So even though I dropped the ball, I can't live without you. This man murdered his boo's husband. Right, right, right. Break it down. The side base. The sneaky link. The side piece. Slick with it. You know. They, he murdered the side piece. Husband. After getting her pregnant. But instead of running from God, he ran to God. Okay. Instead of running from God. He ran to God because he knew his word. Okay, y'all ain't catching it yet. So, see the difference between us and David is when we fall, we tuck our tails and hide. No, 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 you know, I'm back in the club so I'm not going to church. You know, I had an affair so I'm not going to church. You know, I relapsed on drugs so I'm not going to church. You know, you know, I cussed everybody out in my family so I'm not gonna go to church. You know, you know, you know, I, 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 I had same sex attraction so I'm not gonna go to church. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm hustling again so, so I'm not gonna go to church. And see, that's where we mess up because we allow the spirit of guilt and embarrassment to settle in and trick you out the presence of God so that you can be worse off if you would have just stayed. I got pregnant out of Wella with another baby. And I, the spirit of embarrassment and shame is a spirit from hell. Anything that comes to separate you from God is a demonic spirit. And so we say, I'm embarrassed, I'm shame, and you don't even know that you're feeding demons because spirit, the spirit of shame and guilt comes to separate you from God. You had a baby out of wedlock, but instead of you saying, I'm still going to run to God, you run from God. So now you got the baby out of wedlock. and drugs. You didn't pick up fornicating and witchcraft and all these other spirits if you would have just stayed. Yeah. 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 Anybody know a praise and worship
at first it's just a little baby. Okay, you just got pregnant, you fornicated, you got pregnant, okay. But now she ain't in church no more. And we scroll down our Facebook woman of God. And she in the club throwing up game signs. Now she got 30 inches down a crack. Twerking, tweaking, twerking, doing everything else. Dropping it like it's hot. She doing all this. She with this man, that man. Posting all this crazy stuff. And you'll say, and, 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 and the difference is, instead of her staying and facing God, even though I messed up, I still know your worth. So I'm going to stay in your presence. The enemy to treat me. That's good. That's good. That's now good. she's not, she's no longer the praise leader who got pregnant, but now she all the way go. She all the way go. Anybody can relate. You made a mistake. You grew up in church your whole life. Uh, and because you did something uh, that was outside the will of God. Uh, and you was ashamed and embarrassed. Because uh, it's your granddaddy church. It's your, it's your mama church. It's, it's you, you, you got a title. You got a position. Uh, and because you failed. Uh, instead of getting to the face of God. Uh, you ran from God. Uh, we allow a demon. Uh, a lot of us allow demons. Uh, that's operating in another person. Uh, make us feel like my mistake. Uh, no longer qualifies me to be in relationship with the father but the devil is a lie y'all let these imperfect people mother mermaid and bishop tutu and think it dirty with they unperfect unclean demonic self make you feel guilty cause you got your face beat and because I want my hair to look good and I want my eyelashes to look good if you want to be ugly sis and look like Miss Cindy that's your business but you want to condemn me because God made me beautiful and no ugly man over here. No sister Shrek want to make me feel bad. And I can't face my, I can't face church. And I leave the presence of God. Oh, I think that sister Shrek wrote Deacon Dirty, 500 pounds with his britches way up here. Trying to judge you. Because you dress nice, you look good. And you made a mistake. So now spirit of guilt. You got the spirit of embarrassment. You got a demon in your ear with a religious spirit trying to run you away from I know I'm with the wrong 
old person. I know I got anger issues. I know I get mad at you when you don't answer my prayers. Right then and there. I know my flesh needs to come under subjection. I know I need to forgive them for molesting me as a child. I know I got some addictions. I know I made mistakes in ministry. But please, don't take your spirit. Your spirit from me. I don't know where this came from and why this spirit is so strong. And that's the spirit of condemnation. Because we get condemned. And instead of running to, we run from. And that's why a lot of millennials are not in the church. That's why the generation X, Y, Z, whatever you call them, are not in the church. That's why a lot of people have left. Because a spirit of condemnation has overtaken the people of God. But where you messed up is, you've allowed that spirit to come in and separate you. But when you know it's worth it, when you know his word, your scream don't take your spirit from me. Fall imperfect. But God don't let me. I messed up. Let me tell you something. If y'all play like y'all ain't got no sin, I'm gonna throw this mic at your phone. You know, you'll be fall off. mess up, but I refuse. I'm imperfect. I mess up. I'm full of flesh. I drop the ball, but I refuse. Refuse. I refuse to walk away. I refuse to allow this moment to be in this moment right now and not continue my walk. Some of y'all, like I said, you ain't been to church, you ain't been to a revival, but something pulled on your spirit that led you here. And if you can just realize his worth, it'll, you'll never allow anything else to separate you. How many know his worth? How many know? Do you, I'm not talking about the rocks in the trees. I'm talking about Jesus. Do you know his word? I know you named this no your word, but I came here to remind you of God's word. I know your word, Daddy, so I'm not leaving you never again. I messed up, but I know your word. I know your word. You are the Prince of Peace. You are the Lion of the tribe of Judah. You are the Bobby King. You are Jehovah Shammah. You are the Rose of Sharon. You are Elohim. You are Alpha and Omega. You are the Lily in the Valley. You are, you are the God of all gods. You are the way, the truth, and the life. You are Alpha Father. You are the Prophet. You are the Rabbi. Your word, God. I know your word. Oh, some of y'all thought that I was going to come here and stroke your ego and tell you about your word. No, baby. I came to remind you of his. so far away from the old time 
times and how we did church the old way, but the old way kept us, the old way kept us close. The new way got you running from God, but the old way kept it close. In the mention of his name, demons would tremble. If you don't know nothing else, just call Jesus. Shame. 
to make me close my church, close my mouth and stop ministering and preaching the gospel because they knew my sin and my mistake. I allowed the spirit of shame and embarrassment to separate me from my daddy. But I want to be like David and scream, please don't take your spirit from me, God. I'm flawed, but I want to come back to my daddy because even David knew that Jesus, because a lot of us already saved. Remember, catch this, David was a man after God's own heart and then Bathsheba came. This is not an invitation for you to accept Jesus for the first time because a lot of y'all been walking with God. A lot of y'all been in a relationship with God, but something came in to separate you from your daddy. Anybody want to come back home on tonight? Meet me right here. I just want to renew my yes, daddy. Even though I got a title, some of y'all been in ministry and you've been ordained and licensed, but because you had a mix up and a slip up, you allow the enemy to shut your mouth. You allow the enemy to put a buffer on your mouth. Now you won't go live. You won't accept engagement. You won't preach the gospel because the spirit of shame has overtaken.
can go over here and do it in the dark. But when you choose righteousness, there's a different level of obedience, but there's also a different level of blessing. And y'all be hating on certain people who live a certain way, but you don't know the sacrifice. You don't know the sacrifice and what they gave up. Thank you. 